Hey, what's up guys? Travis here with Every Single Sunday. Today we are working in the garage and we got the old Rataconda out. I've never done a video talking about tires and mounting mooses, so I figured I'd do a little breakdown step by step on the easiest way to do this. So the videos you see online, they're always a gummy tire and they always have a soft moose. Those are much, much easier to do. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a Dunlop EN91, which is a DOT tire, so it's pretty firm. Um, and we're gonna be putting a firm moose in there, which is gonna be a nitro moose. We're gonna do a size 305 for an 18 inch wheel, which is what calls for for this uh, 120 EN91 Dunlop tire. Let me correct myself, guys. First, we are gonna do a 305 moose, which fills this out all right. It's a little soft, but we're gonna put a 325 in here in the second half of this video. That's a really big moose, so it's gonna take a little bit more technique and a little bit more tricks and tips to make it work. So that's at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So let's dive in. So the first step here is going to be getting your old tire off of the wheel. And to do that, the first thing we need to do is loosen up your rim lock. So you're going to want to go ahead and back that nut off right to the end of the threads. Now to get the old tire off, you're going to want to get four or five spoons in down below the bead of the tire. If you have a Rabaconda like this, you can push it in and use it to set the spoons in there. Um, and if you don't, well, it's a little bit more difficult. You can wedge them in, but this is a huge help being able to use this, push the tire down and get all of your spoons in there. Also guys, this tire that I'm taking off here, the moose is pretty soft. Sometimes it's a lot more difficult to get these spoons in. So as you can see, I have about five spoons all within a quarter of the tire. Then you're gonna start in the center and work your way out. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And we got about 25% of the tire up and off the wheel and that's all that's required. From here, we're gonna go ahead and flip the tire and we're gonna put the section that we just knocked off right underneath the press. So we'll do that. Then we're just gonna basically push down and uh, start pushing it all the way off. Once it starts coming off, work your way around the rest of the tire away from the rim lock and uh, you should be able to push it all the way off. And that's one thing that's really nice about the Rabaconda that a lot of the other tire machines don't do with mooses. All right, guys, if you're finding value in this video, please help support us. Like the video, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you want to. All these little things help us in the algorithm. It gets us out to more people. Also, if you wanna buy a Rabaconda, you wanna buy some Nitro Moose or tires, click the link in the description. It'll take you to Rocky Mountain ATV. And if you do that link, it goes through us, it shows that we sent you there and we get a small commission. Thank you so much for your support. All right guys, so we are reusing a moose here. So this one already has lube all the way around it. So it's gonna be easier to install. Um, since it's already easy to install, it has moose, we're gonna go ahead and just squeeze some of the new lube down inside the tire, um, about quarter of the bottle or tube, sorry. And then we're gonna go ahead and start pushing the moose in. We'll get just a section in right here, uh, just where we put all that new lube in there. Um, then I'm gonna kind of turn the tire, put a little bit more lube in there and uh, start working our way around. If this was a new, uh, moose that you're putting in there. They're a lot harder to install this way. Um, if this is a new moose, you'll want to put the, the lube on the moose uh, on the moose itself. That way it's easier to slide into the tire because they're, they're pretty sticky to start with. So we're going to do another one right after this with a new moose and you'll be able to see the difference uh, back to back here in the same video. All right, so first thing you want to do is lube up the beads a little bit, tire soap or whatever you have. Um, something's going to be slippery. I got BioWash, which I wash my bikes with right now. So that's what we're using. Uh, also check to make sure your tire is or is not directional. If it is directional, make sure you put it on the right way. Uh, this EN91 is a directional tire, so we are going to make sure that happens. Uh, first step, find your rim lock, and we're going to put the rim lock in here. So we start on the bottom, make sure it hooks in, grab a couple spoons, and we're going to put our knee into the tire. And all we're doing this first part is trying to get half of the tire on here. We're not trying to force the, the moose down, anything like that. Just trying to get the first half of the bead seated like we did. So that's good, essentially. We're going to pull it off, double check it really quick, make sure that our rim lock is not sticking out in this gap right here which it's not, so we'll put it back down. 
I'm going to stop you right here, guys. That should not have gone on that easy. So I'm going to finish mounting this one, but it's going to be a little too soft. This is an undersized moose for this tire, meaning it's too small. This was a 305. I should have got a 325. So after this, I'm going to show you how in the same video, how to mount a 325, which is a little more difficult because it's a bigger moose. So stay tuned after this. You can watch this right now and I'll show you technique, but just know afterward, I'm going to put a little bit bigger moose back in the same tire. And then I spin our rim lock up towards the top here. Take one spoon, bring it over, push the rim lock up a little bit if you can. We're gonna hook that underneath. Then we're gonna take this half of the spoon, it's made to jump in here, and we're gonna pull it around like that. Take another small bite. Another small bite. And this is going on pretty easily here, which means this moose is a little tiny. This is what it's called for on the website on Nitro Moose's site. But at the same time, this is a used moose. It's not brand new. So this is where it starts getting a little tighter. So if you have trouble getting your spoon in, run this one back up this way. It'll create a little bit more room. Take a bite, pull this one out, back up forward. First one, second one, back forward. First one, second one. And it should come down just like that. Release that bit right there. And we need to get our rim lock in. I have a little trick for this. Come on both sides of it it up to give you some room. Take your little clamp. Pinch the rim lock away from the wheel. Kink, kink. Good to go. And you are set. Well, you're set, kinda. Like I said, this one's a little too small, so we're gonna redo this for you. So the last moose we put in was a 305. This is a 325, meaning it's a little bit bigger all the way around the center. This one's new also. The other one was used, so that might have caused it to shrink. But either way, once it was in here, it was a little softer than I wanted. And since we're going to Mexico, we want something firm that's going to hold up for more high speed. So we want a firmer moose, bigger moose, more pressure in the tire, essentially. So we're going to go ahead and lube this up just lightly. And this is going to help get the tire, get the moose into the tire. Because if you haven't done one of these, they can be a little difficult to force in here sometimes, especially since we're going to be putting this big boy in here. There you go. Once you get started, it's not too bad. And we're just kind of working the outsides here. Just like that. And this is a new moose, that's why we put it on the moose itself rather than just in the tire. Um, you can put it in the tire, it's just hard to force this thing in there sometimes. All right. Last little bit. All right. And yeah, this stuff gets a little messy, it sucks to deal with, but It'll be fine. Now, if we're looking how wide that is, this is gonna be a lot more difficult to mount than that last tire that had the 305 used moose in it. So, quick wipe off of the gloves, otherwise you're gonna be going through a ton of gloves doing these things. Uh, clean your tire up a little bit so it's not a mess. And this will help lube up also for when we mount it. Um, left side, so it goes this way. Tire arrows are going the wrong way, so we gotta flip this over, just like that. Now we're spinning the correct direction. Same thing we did before. We're gonna hook our rim lock into the tire in between the moose. A lot harder with this bigger moose, obviously. Grab two spoons. 
At this point, guys, you can see me get one spoon in about the nine or 10 o'clock position over here and start that one. And then I'm gonna take the other lever to the complete opposite side around the two or three o'clock and I'm gonna start pushing them away from each other. And then I'm gonna start coming up and around. At this point, you do not want the moose into the drop center. We're just trying to get the one side of the tire down there. Uh, so we have that one bead on and then we'll push the whole tire down and get the moose closer. All right. So we got the bottom bead on. I'm gonna reach down here, make sure our rim lock's set. And this is a little bit bigger one. So now I want to push our moose down. So now the moose itself is in the drop center. Now we just got to deal with this top bead. Um, this one did not get a lot of lubricant on it. So we're going to go ahead and spray it. Whatever you want, tire stuff. I like Windex usually works for me. Spin this around. And I'm already seeing how big this one is. Uh, so it's going to be a little more difficult for sure. Start right next to our rim lock. Hook that one. And now we're gonna start working our way around. With a firmer moose about this point, 25% of the way around, I should have put another lever in there to direct it down into the drop center or a bead buddy. Um, I'll come back and do that in just a second, you'll see. So this is starting to get pretty tight right here. So one thing we want is we want this tire off of the bead. We want it dropped down inside. So I'm actually gonna come back across, relieve some pressure off this. We're gonna put this in. leave that sitting right there. So what this spoon does, it allows the tire to drop into the center, uh, and down to the drop center, similar to what a, a bead buddy would do. And if you have one, you can use that as well. Right there, guys, did you see that? The tire dropped into the drop center, giving us more room on the side we're working on. I'll play it back for you, but watch that spoon on the left-hand side and you'll see the tire slip in. Same thing, bring it back up, take a bite. Bring it back up, get the next one in, take a bite, back up, and take a bite. And voila. At this point, I'm gonna slide this around. So right here, I'm using my C-clamp to push the rim lock up into the moose. I'm gonna go ahead and get underneath the bead of the tire, pull it back a little bit to allow the, the rim lock to get underneath the rubber. And then we're gonna go ahead and push the tire back down into the gap that's uh, provided from the C-clamp there. Just a little bit of wiggling with this big moose makes it more difficult, but we get it done and uh, gotta stab it a little bit here, but it works. You can also use the, the little push down piece off of the Ravicon as well to do this. We are done, be it seated all the way around on the tire, meaning this thing is gonna be rock hard and ready to go for Mexico. New Dunlop tire stickers with black backing. Try these out. All right, factory fresh, ready to shred. All right, guys, I don't like what I said right here, so you get a voiceover of my face talking, my lips don't match. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for me. Hit that like button if this helped. If you have any questions, please post up in the comments. I monitor them, and I will do my best to answer you. Thanks so much for watching. Get out and ride.